Okay, this is another further response to my good friend, uh, Avner Levy. Um, he talks about, uh, he just makes a funny point that he has a friend who's a polytheist and his friend's an atheist. One believes in many gods, one believes in no gods. So he says it's funny they became friends. I, I don't think that the theism should separate people. Meaning I have a lot of friends who are Exians, I have friends who are Muslims, I have friends who are non-believers, I have friends who are secular, agnostic. I have the full spectrum because I find that that's how I become diversified, that's how I keep interested in life, that's how I make sure that I know what I believe and I have them question me fully on what I believe, so I know where I stand, I know where they stand, and if you don't have access to different types of people in your life, I don't think you can grow intellectually. I don't think it's intellectually honest to live like that. So I don't think it's so surprising. I think it's very nice that they keep friends, even though one's a polytheist and one's an atheist. Now, his question was according to the Star of David. Um, what's the purpose and all the stuff surrounding it? So it's, he says who asked him the question, and he gives him his answer. Um, he gives an opinion here that they claim that the, when the when the when the eagle was thrown into the fire by Aaron Cain and it came out in the form of an eagle, it had a there's a measure, it had it had a star of David. Okay, I don't know, I didn't hear, I'm not sure, but it's possible. Okay, the star of David, according to Kabbalah, basically the star of David, you know, every every um, army has like a crest. So the the I think it was the Kabbalah, they made like the the Mug and David. The star of David is called Mug and David in Hebrew, and it has six points. So the letters go like this: Mem uh, Mem Gimel. Magen Nun Saifis, and then David's name, Dalid Vav Dalid. Magen David, so that's how it points to six stars. That's, that's why it's six sides in the star, because it's those six letters. And basically, I think it was used on the, as a crest on their shield to protect them. Like uh, the Exians had the, the Tzlav, you know, the Tzlav, it looks like a T. So um, we had the Mug and David to protect. And basically, the, the concept is in Judaism why Mug and David? Why not Mug and Yehudim, a guardian of the Jews? Because David is the king of the Jewish people. David, Melch Israel, Chavikayam. And if David's alive, if his kingship is alive, if, if, if the king is well, the nation is well. So by the Jews, they were the prote they, they dive into Sh to Hashem, Mug and David. Also, when we have the Haftarah, when we read the Torah and Shabbos, we say, Hashem, Mug and David. And in the Shemun Esrei, the first bracha is, Magen of Raham, the protector of Avram. The, the theory is if God protects Abraham, the first Jew, he's going to protect all of his descendants, all the other Jews. The only issue with that is, you know, from Abraham came Ishmael too, so Ishmael also gets as protected according to that to that rationale. Um, that's it. I hope this helps. And uh, Rav Rav Avner, I, I really, really love our uh, interaction, and you're really enriching my life with these questions, and, uh, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and uh, may God Almighty bless you in everything that you do.